time, we finished the soil cement subfloor on Bryson's earth bag bedroom. The next step is to complete the walls. Cob is a material of choice. His grandparents had a septic dug, so they needed a place to put the dirt. And we said, oh yeah, just throw it on our property. Which a few years later, we started building these buildings and doing cob. And we came back and looked at this, and sure enough, if this wasn't clay. So we've got this big clay pile that we've been using for years. We use a mixture of sand and clay. This time, though, we did add some of our dirt, which is kind of like if you put it in a cup. You know how you can tell where the clay and the sand separate? We're about half and half on our dirt, so we threw in some of that and made it extra sticky. Cobbed in between the creases because we had a new system of doing it this round. We were going to try spraying the cob. I am slapping mud up on the walls. So apparently. Well, we're doing good, guys. We got this room chinked in. looking just ducky. Just wash these so I can wear them last night. Hey, bro. Hey, Isn't there a rubber ducky song or something? Rubber ducky? It's a, it's a oh, Sesame Street one. Sesame Street song. <laughs> but you can't sing it because it'll probably be copyright infringement. No. No, it's only the two original tracks. Oh. That's what we learned Well, let's last hear it night. then. Rubber ducky, you're the one who can make bath time super fun. <laughs> he can't hear me because he has headsets on. What? Do the headsets make you go faster? I think they do. Before we can complete the cobbing, the last of the wiring needs to be placed so the cob can cover it. We wired for a patio switch by borrowing power from the light switch to the lower room. We're going to now run wire up the side of this post, up and then out and up this direction, and put a light switch right there for external light. Yeah, we went ahead and also set up some wire for can light in there too. Usually when you do a door, you put your rear into the door and you figure out which way to roll. Oh, it swings, so this would be a right hand switch. We had to move the electrical from switches from one side to the other side of the door. Miscalculated that. But that's okay, we can move it around, right to here. We have wire that runs from this box to this box, so this would be our power side. I'm gonna wire these two together, and wire these two together, and then put covers on these boxes. And then I'm going to send a wire. It's going to go around here and it's going to power a switch for the fan light in here and a light outside. So it'll be two switches. We're done! Instead of all the time that we put all the mud on the walls, we thought we would try this idea mm -hmm. of spraying it on like stucco. But I don't have a stucco sprayer. No. Yeah, we have a sheetrock like mud. mud sprayer. We, we did try it. It oh. failed the first time. Yeah, very bad. It is an experiment, so oh. testing different ways of doing things. Okay, there we go. go. Ready for the test? We're gonna go with a uh, three to one mixture of um, sand and cement. There's a pipe that's in here that goes out to the end, and the problem was it was restricting the mud from going out the end. It was used for thinner mud, but we just cut it back. We're gonna see. Here, let's hey, look, dude, look at where the mud's at. All right, see mud at the tip? Right, let's see what we got. So we made a couple modifications to it, mm -hmm. and it worked. Wow, that's fantastic. We had to thin the cob out quite a bit too. Yeah. And then also we had to strain it. That was another problem. The rocks were getting stuck in there. So we had to, yeah, filter, so we out had to filter out the rocks. We're probably going to break the world record. It's been cobbing. It's been cobbing. <laughs> I'm thinking about making it an Olympic sport. It saved a ton of time. I like putting cob up. It's really soothing and nice, but I don't think any of us but the sprayer could stay in the room because it was so loud. The texture is really rough. We tried to soften it with a tool and knock it off by hand. Yeah, I, think it, I actually think it came out pretty good. I don't know what I was expecting, but 
I mean, that's sure a whole lot of work saved. And then we eventually just used the broom to brush it off. We didn't want to go over the entire walls again, flattening it out. So we decided to just go with the rough look. Bryson was happy with it, so that's the main thing. We tried out a section where we were just spraying a whole bunch to see if we could avoid having it filling in between the bags. This may be a look that we'll try out on a future building. A lot of the cob fell off the wall. I think a lot of it made it on the wall, but a lot fell too. So we just had to pick that up at the end of the day's work and we put it in some we put it in wheelbarrows and we'd use it the next day. Probably one of the most important things about us is not that all the corners are all straight and, and that uh, the walls are all perfectly round or... Family project. Yeah, it's more of a yeah. family thing or family time together. It's really important to us. A lot of times you just want to jump in there. You have a certain expectation that you want. If the kids are going to join in and be a part of it, you just got to let it go. Mm -hmm. We keep things within safe tolerances. There's just something about the roof falling, you know, and the children <laughs> when we're not there. That could be bad. Right, but you would jump in if it was a safety yes. issue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The cob is free, so that brings our accumulated total to, well, 3800 week we'll be painting the interior and Bryson gets a surprise. Oh you gosh. don't want to miss it. See you next week. Something just fell out of my hair. Oh, it's moving. It is a flea. It's moving. It's not a flea. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. For more information, you can click the website link below. Thanks for watching!